TC. I saw the light still on. Are you all right? So many lives. And this. I was so confused when Eve told me about losing the baby boy. She led me to believe that that son was mine. And then when she didn't tell me the truth about it, now I know why, because the baby wasn't mine. Liz, I grieved so much for that little boy. And for Eve. Now I find out that the baby wasn't mine in the first place, it was Julian Crane's. Poor man. He deserves so much better than this. I hate my sister for what she did to you. I love my daughter so much. I've always longed for a son. TC, you can still have a son. It's not too late. You should have a son of your own, TC. You deserve it. No, Liz. Eve thinks that she's too old to have another child. Eve? TC, you aren't thinking of taking her back, are you? Eve, you want Eve back after everything she's done? No, Liz, uh, of course not. It, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. It's, you know, it's going to take me some time to adjust to all of this. You just don't forget about your marriage in one evening. No, 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 of course not, TC. No matter what sort of marriage it was. I suppose my dream of having a son is dead as well. Never give up on your dreams, TC. My dreams are what got me through when life got tough. Liz, it would have been so wonderful. I could have passed on the love of tennis to my son just like my father did to me. My father sacrificed so much for me, Liz. Every spare minute he had, he worked with me. He coached me. I would do the same thing for my son. My son could go on to achieve the goals I didn't achieve. He could go on and play the US Open. Wimbledon, the Olympics. Excuse me, TC, but don't you think that sounds just a little bit sexist? I mean, after all, Whitney got pretty close to the top. Yeah, I, Liz, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that I finally figured out that Whitney did everything for me. She didn't do it for herself. You know, I spent so much time trying to make her Harmony's own Serena Williams. And then Chad came along and just ruined everything. Whitney wants to sing, and I can't blame her for that. That's her passion. I, I guess she gets that from her mother. Whitney can do whatever Whitney sets her mind to. Yeah. But a son, oh, a son would have been so nice to have. You know, I, I don't know why I'm going on about this, because it's not no, going to happen. No, 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 TC. You're right. Your son would be incredible. Don't give up on that dream. Liz, I have to. Eve is out of my life. And Eve is the only woman out there. I don't think so, TC. You can have the son you always wanted, but with another woman. Hold on to your dream, TC. Have your son, but with another woman. Liz, where would I find one? I mean, this is a small town. School starts up in a couple of weeks, and I don't have time to date, much less fall in love. Well, you shouldn't have to look too far, TC. The right woman could be right in front of you. I'm here, TC. What about me? Think about it, TC. You don't need to go out searching for a woman. No awkward first dates, no dating services on the internet. I'm right here. Liz, that is 
very kind of you to offer, and I know you're just trying to make me feel better. You see, I am not offering myself to you out of s sympathy. Listen, you have known for a long time that I'm attracted to you. And be honest, you're attracted to me too. T.C. Eve hurt you, and she hurt me too. I think we can make each other feel a lot better. Liz, um, I need to go to bed. I, I, I need to get some rest, I need to try to get some sleep, and I, I'm just gonna have to see you in the morning, okay? Okay, T.C. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night, Liz, and, um, hey, thanks, All right? Anytime, T.C., I'm here for you. I want you, T.C. Russell, and I always get what I want. should be insulted that you didn't recognize my kiss. But I'm not. Liz, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? I want you, TC. I want to be with you. I want to make love to you. I admit it. You want to be with me, too. No, Liz, this... <laughs> This isn't right. There is nothing more right than love. We aren't doing anything wrong, T.C. Liz, I'm still married. Yes, but where's your wife right now? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you where. The minute you dumped her, she went right back and jumped into Julian's bed. No. Eve would never do that. Come on, T.C., think about all the things that you learned about her. And she has played you for a fool since the first day you met her. And for months now, she has been sneaking around behind your back, meeting Julian in odd, secluded places, hugging and kissing him and doing who knows what. Poor Whitney. She knew all about it, and it tore her apart. And she couldn't tell you. She kept their dirty little secrets. She loves you. She didn't want to see you hurt. I can't believe that she hurt Whitney that way. But Liz, two wrongs don't make a right. Now, you shouldn't be here. I called Eve's service just a minute ago. They'd say she could be reached at that number. It's the Crane Mansion. You see, I'm so sorry, but she's there now with Julian in his bed, doing God knows what. What about Julian's wife? Well, no, Rebecca, she's probably with taping. Liz, come on. You see, I am sorry, but we don't know how far Eve will go. Look at all the terrible lies she's told you, all the awful things she's kept from you. You don't owe Eve anything. She has betrayed you over and over and over again. T.C., it's time you did something for you. I'm here, T.C. I want to make love to you like no woman ever has. The way you deserve.
Liz, I just... No, 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 TC. Don't speak. Time for worse is over. Let me make you forget all your troubles. Let me make love to you. Thank you.